In this example, we have copper nitri uh, nitric acid and copper carbonate. So a little little hint to where we're going with this one. Um, so what we want then is nitric acid. So I can't remember the formula for nitric acid. So I'll have my little table sitting in front of me so I can write them straight down. Once you memorize them, you don't have to have that table anymore. But it's really important if you can't remember the formulas to have them just sitting there while you're practicing, while you're learning so that you can become familiar and comfortable with each of these uh, different formulas. So nitric acid, HNO3 in solution with copper carbonate. Now carbonates are uh, insoluble. So if I'm gonna do this reaction, I'm probably gonna do it with a solid uh, copper carbonate. When with this reacts, we're going to form water and carbon dioxide. And in this case, our um, our salt is formed from the copper, the cation that's part of the carbonate, and the nitrate. So copper from the formula, I've made this a 2 plus, it could be a 1 plus, good if we actually have copper 2, just to remove some ambiguities there. Um, and then the formula for the nitrate will be CuNO32. And from NAGSAG, all nitrates are soluble, so that should be a soluble salt. Uh, when we're doing the um, net ionic equation, we're not going to get quite the same thing this time because we've started with a solid. The solid, we don't separate the ions. Uh, however, if this was a um, aqueous form, then you would find that the ions that are here would also be um, cancelled out and we'd end up with the same overall equation. So just be careful because many of the carbonates are insoluble and therefore in order for these reactions to proceed, you are often adding a acidic solution to a solid carbonate. Keep having practice and um, combine lots of these together in order to not only produce salts but also to name them. Um, I gave you that as a little um, gift at the beginning of this slide. Uh, copper nitrate, specifically copper 2 nitrate, because I've used the um, 2 plus form of the copper ion here, uh, is the name of this salt. Keep practicing and good luck and thanks for watching.